Hey, so today we're going to learn how to make a cape using extract and a few other tips. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, I'm going to mask out where this cape would attach to his shoulders. And then around the back just a little bit. I'm doing this. That way I have some geometry to actually push and pull. Okay, so my cape will come down like this and then swoop around this way. That is the goal here. So I got my mask and my subtool palette. I can go to extract. Let me get a better view. Hit extract. Yay, that looks great. Now, it doesn't actually look great, but it's a good start to my uh, to my cape here. Turn off solo mode. So I pressed extract and then accept if I like it. And now, um, it's pretty low poly, but I want it to be even lower poly. It's easy to work with. Before I press Z remesh, I am going to go to keep groups and click that. And then turn the target polygon count really low. Hit Z remesh. Um, so these colors are polygroups, and it's important that I press keep polygroups for what I'm about to show you. So my goal is to have a cape, right? So I could use the move brush, snake hook brush, whatever I want. But I'm working with a two-sided kind of plane here, right? It's got thickness. So I've got this side and then this side. So if I were to continue pushing and pulling and, oh, dang, now this is too thick. I got to worry about the bottom. I don't want to have that headache. So I'm going to delete part of it. So we're going to go to polygroups. And under polygroups, we are going to press group by normal. Now when I get into solo mode, you'll see what happened. So it has made groups based on the way these polygons are facing, right? The normals of these polygons, which is helpful. Because if I press control shift or command shift on a Mac and then tap on, let's do that again. Tap on this this light green, right? It hides everything else in the subtool. So then I'm gonna go to geometry, modify topology, and then delete hidden. So now the only thing I have left is this. It's gonna be much easier for me to work with. So now I can use my let me turn off symmetry. My move brush is whatever brushes you feel comfortable with to push and pull this shape. All right, so I'm using move topological to push and stretch. And when I've gone so far, I can Z remesh this again. And I lost some of that detail. I'm going to bump this number up slightly. There we go, that'll work. And let me smooth this. Uh, it was starting to kind of pull past each other and that's not what I want. So I'm pushing, pulling, stretching, smoothing, pressing Z remesh when I need to, when I feel like it's gotten too stretched. And then let's start pushing it kind of this direction. And it's too thin. I'm going to go back through and kind of widen that just a little bit. And let's just get real crazy with it. Let's see if that snake hook brush works for me. Z remesh. And smooth some of that out. Okay, I don't really like it coming forward so much, but you get the idea. Um, so instead of that, let's pull it kind of this way. See, remesh, smooth. Okay. So now 
if I like this, and you can get extravagant as you want to, um, I'm going to go to my brushes and then go down to Z Modeler. So I can press Z, press Z Modeler. And we haven't discussed Z Modeler at all. The Z Modeler are some of our hard surface tools inside of ZBrush. There'll be another video. But on default, it is set to something like this. So we can hover over edges, right? Uh, insert edge loops. But if I hover over a polygon, it says Q mesh, and this should be set to a single poly. And if I pull, <coughs> right, it's kind of doing an extrusion. This is called Q mesh. Um, so it's a little different than extrusion. So I'm going to hover over a poly, press and hold space bar, and change this to instead of a single poly, we want poly group all. So since this is all one poly group, it's going to do this action to all of these polygons. And hold space bar instead of Q mesh, I am going to change it to extrude. Okay, and I needed to fix this again. So extrude a single poly to poly group all is what I want. And then I'm going to pull this out. And this will be the thickness of my cape. Cool. So you can come in here, fix everything you want, make it look awesome, add your cloth, your fabric brushes. Let's go ahead and do some of that. Uh, looks great. I'm gonna divide this, give me more some more geometry, and then come in here. Maybe start to get the illusion of some of that fabric. Okay, thank you very much.